My name is Flash Isaac and I am a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands of people fail jam and unable to get admission. After defeating jam, I came back in time to help you score high in jam. I am doing this with the help of the Flash Learners Jam app and a series on YouTube according to jam syllabus tagged 120 days to jam with Flash Isaac. In this series, we shall be defeating jam and I swear get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 26 of the 120 days to jam physics with Flash Isaac. We shall continue from where we stopped in episode number 25. Questions on that work, energy and power making use of the Flash Learners Jam application. Now the first question here says, if the force and velocity of a system are reduced simultaneously by half, the power of the system is power is force times velocity. If force is reduced by half, it simply means that the new force is force over 2 or the second force is original force over 2. If velocity is reduced by half, it means the new velocity is equals the initial velocity over 2. Where does that leave us? Power becomes F over 2 times V over 2 with the force and velocity reduced by half. And this will simply be equals FV over 4. That is 1 over 4 FV. So the power will be reduced by a quarter. Now let's see something. If we are told that force is equals 4 newton and velocity is equals 2 meters per second, 2 meters per second, power will simply be 4 times 2. That is 4 times 2 is 8 newton meters per second or 8 joules per second or 8 watts. Let's reduce the force by 2 and velocity by 2. Reducing force by 2, this is simply a 4 over 2. By half, rather, 4 over 2 becomes 2. Velocity, velocity becomes 2 over 2, that is 1. So power is now 2 times 1, that is equals 2. What has happened? Reducing force by half and velocity by half, power has changed from 8 to 2. And 2 is 1 over 4 of 8. So that is by a quarter. The next question. If a cage containing a truck of coal weighing 750 kilograms is raised to a height of 90 meters in one minute, what is the power expended? What is the power expended? What is the power expended? Power is work done over time and it is energy over time because work done is energy and the energy can be kinetic or potential energy. Now we are seeing a height, we are seeing mass and we are seeing time. So this tells us that this energy is potential energy due to height. Power is therefore equals mgh over t. And that is mass 750 times g 10 times height 90 meter over time 1 minute. That is 60 seconds. So power is 750 times 10, times 90, all over 60. That should give you 11.25 kilowatts. If a pump is capable of lifting 5,000 kilograms of water through a vertical height of 60 meters in 15 minutes, the power of the pump is dash. Take G to be 10 meters per second speed. In the previous episode, I said that for pumping of water or for the power of pumping machine, if you are pumping the water upward, you see here, up, 
power is potential energy times time because as you are going up you are possessing potential energy energy due to height so for pumping of water up power is mgh over t and mass is given as 5000 kilogram times we are told to take g to be 10 10 times what is the height 60 meter 60 all over time is 15 minutes time is equals 15 minutes in work energy and power and in physics generally we don't solve questions using power in minutes never you don't do that anywhere you must convert power time to seconds distance to meter so long here is concerned we don't do any other thing here converting power from minutes to seconds is easy 60 seconds make one minute so 15 minutes is equals 15 times 60. in jam the values they give you they are to make calculations very easy for you if you understand how to break down values in calculation you will not multiply here directly since time is 15 times 60 in seconds come here and say 15 times 60. do you know why 160 takes care of 160 then we have 15 and 10. 15 divided by 5 is 3 then that same 5 divided by 10 here is 2. food is ready things are already in a simple form we simply say we are left with 5000 times 2 over 3. This is 10,000 over 3. Out of this 10,000, if you pick 10 like this, you can say 10 over 3 times 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. This is equals 3.3333. So just say 3.3 times 1,000 joules per second. Or 3.3 times 10 raised to the power of 3 joules per second. If you agree with this method, fine. If you don't agree, just solve here. Anyhow you do it, you arrive at the same answer. You must not follow my method and you must not follow your method. Anyone, <laughs> anyone that is convenient for you, do it. That is the aim. I am not teaching you to cram. In the figure above, the work done by the force of 100 newton inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the object dragged horizontally to a distance of 80 newton i don't know if you even understand what i am reading but at least you can see the question on your screen we have something like this angle 60 degrees and this is the force of 100 newton so distance covered or a g or s is equals 8 meters remember i told you that work done is not just force times distance it is force times distance in the direction of the force this guy is being dragged along the ground like this so the distance covered is along this horizontal line but the force is inclined just like this to draw the object to find work done we must resolve this force to be horizontal to be in the same direction as the distance this was what i did in the introduction of this class how do we do that this is simply 100 cos 60 degrees times 8 because as we are pushing it down we are closing the angles 100 cos 60 degrees times 8 that will give you 400 joules food is ready Cos 60 degrees, that is 1 over 2, right? 1 over 2 times 100, that is 50. 50 times 8, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. So, very easy. Cos 60 is 1 over 2. And cos 60 is equal to sin 30. Sin 30 is also 1 over 2. And sin 60 is the same thing as cos 30. That is how we roll. A boy drags a bag of rice along a smooth horizontal floor with a force of 2 newton applied to an angle of 60 degrees to the floor the work done after a distance of 3 meters is this 
This is exactly the previous question we solved in another English. The same. Look at this. A boy, B O Y, drags a bag of rice, rice like this, along a smooth horizontal floor. This means the distance covered is along this floor. Distance is covered along this floor. Now, the force the boy applied is two newton, but the question says that the force made an angle of 60 degrees to the floor. So this is the floor, this is the force of two newton, and this force is making an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal, and the distance covered is 3 meters, as you can see in the equation. So work done is equals F force cos theta times distance, that is 2 cos 60 degrees times 3. Cos 60 degrees, that is 1 over 2. 1 over 2 times 2, that is 1. 1 times 3, that is 3 joules. Life is pretty easy for us. And what is Newton meter? Newton stands for force. Meter stands for distance. So this is force times distance. Force times distance is work done. So Newton meter is a unit of work done. And what is the unit of work done? Joe. So option B is correct. One Joe. You can't talk about which one is one water. <laughs> or oh, they try to say one watt. That's their problem. And one ampere is when we are talking about current. Kilogram is a fundamental quantity as well as ampere. A kilogram is the unit of mass. Work well done is force times distance. Work well done is force times a times distance s. We are given a force. Force is equals twenty newton, and it says it's required to start a body from rest. Anytime you hear a body from rest, <laughs> something that should enter your mind is that they are introducing us to motion, equations of motion. One thing about motion is that it's cut across a lot of topics in physics. Your knowledge of motion will help you answer questions under so many topics, like the way it will help you here. So, the body starts from rest. For a body starting from rest, initial velocity is equals zero. And this body accelerates uniformly for 2 meters per second. A is equals 2 meters per second squared. For 4 seconds, time is equals 4 seconds. They are giving us all this so that we are able to find distance. That is simply it. So this is not a normal distance you just get. No, you need to calculate this. From the equations of motion, 1 V is equals U plus a t s is equals u t plus 1 over 2 a t squared v squared is equals u squared plus 2 a s so the most appropriate for us is the second one since we are looking for distance we have initial velocity we have time and we have acceleration so a body start from rest u is zero so zero times t is zero t then we have 1 over 2 times a is 2 times t is 4. So we have 4 squared. S is therefore equals 1 over 2 times 2 times 16. 2 already cancels 2. So distance is equal 16 meters. So work done is force 20 times distance 16. That is your work done. If I am correct, that is 320 Newton. And that is option what? Joe's rather not Newton. That is option D as the correct option. Guess the Flash Learner's Jam app. Use the description in this video or visit flashlearner.com or search Flash Learner's Jam on Google Play Store. You see the Flash Learner's logo. Please, it is very, very important and compulsory. I can't answer all the questions in this world, but with this and the app, 
you'll be able to play with as many questions as possible. If you have problems or you need to ask me questions directly, chat me up using my handles. Take care of yourself.